What's up guys, Brooks here, and today I'm starting a brand new series called Guide in 5, where I bring you guys a guide in 5 minutes or less. If you could, a like and subscribe would really help me out on this channel, but anyway, let's get to it. In this episode, we're going to talk about the brand new buffs that came to the Skull of Diankara, this patch, to see how much more super energy you actually gain from the buff. For those of you that don't know what this exotic does or is, it's essentially a Warlock exotic helmet that gives super energy back based on the number of units you kill and what you kill now. As you can see here in the background, I'm just popping these thrall with novas upon novas upon novas. It just doesn't stop. Obviously Escalation Protocol is one of the better suited activities for a buff like this but if you can imagine it in a like Eat of Worlds raid, Spy of Stars opening section, something like that, it's gonna do work. I trust me on this one. First thing we gotta talk about is how much super energy does Skull of Dian Kara give per kill per enemy. First enemy we're gonna talk about are regular rank and file enemies or red bar health enemies. As you can see here, it gives about 1 sixth, 1 eighth of your super energy back, but it is more than last patch, so keep that in mind. Unfortunately, I don't have any video footage of what it was before the patch update, so you're gonna have to just trust my word for it. Next enemy we're gonna talk about are yellow bars or mages. As you can see here, it still only gives the same amount as you would a red bar. Now the patch notes did state that killing high ranked enemies would grant more super energy. So for our third test I figured we'd kill a boss or a three part HP enemy. I was going into this expecting like maybe 1.5 times double the super energy you get back from killing a boss but I mean as you can see here it's just absolutely nuts. It's bonkers the amount of super energy you get back. That's honestly like two thirds, three quarters even. It's just insane. As for which Nova Bomb to actually use with this helmet, it honestly doesn't really matter. Both are viable. I'd say the Chaos Accelerant tree lends to slightly better ad clear, but Devourer is also just as viable. Personally, I'd probably rock this with the Chaos Accelerant tree just because of the buffs it got this patch. It's looking pretty good, but Devourer will also be undoubtedly better in some situations. My final thoughts on this buff is it's really good. Personally, I'll be rocking this for most activities, any activity that I can really. Only times I wouldn't really use it are for activities like dogs and the Leviathan that don't really lend itself to ad clear too much. But anything that needs some generic ad clear, this is going to be a beast of an exotic. Although Warlock already has two great ad clearing subclasses with the Dawnblade and the Stormcaller, this just the flexibility of it, the fact that you can just spam essentially unlimited Novas based on the ads. And the thing is, if you don't get unlimited Novas, you probably don't need the ad clears much because you obviously aren't getting swarmed by ads enough. It'll be interesting to see how this stacks up next week once Forsaken's finally released and we get those new supers. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. It's been a pleasure. If you guys want to check out my stream, the link is in the description. And as for the series itself, I'll be busting out so many of these once Forsaken drops, don't you worry. It's Brooks who's signing out, and enjoy your Novas.